Uh, hello. Welcome to the stream. My name is Kramal, and tonight we're just going to have a real chill. We're going to do a recap of the state of play, which happened this morning at 6 a.m. WA time. Ugh. Uh, and then we'll probably play some Witcher or some magic. I haven't really decided what we're going to do yet, but I put Witcher on the stream. Uh, so happy Friday to you as well, Blue. Thanks very much for being here and supporting the channel. Uh, how's everyone's week been? And by everyone, I mean, how's Blue's week been? I already know the answer to this question. But I'm asking anyway. Hmm. Friday night's beer of choice, once again, is Feral Brewery's Biggie Juice. An East Coast IPA. It's quite nice. I like it. I didn't tweet or Facebook that I'd gone live. That's uh that's a pretty big oversight. One which I'm going to rectify very quickly. Um what are we gonna say, Twitch chat? State of play recap. Come see ya boy. Hashtag Twitch streamer. Pretty good, just pretty good, not amazing. Your husband came home from a long trip this week, didn't he? When I say long trip, it was five days, not too long. Twitch stream. And then we'll do twitch.tv slash Cremol. Cremol. Then we're going to copy that. This is a bit of a tune. Yeah, apart from that, it's been good. Jesus. Can't believe you'd say something like that. Uh, let's put this on Facebook as well. Face it. Next. Post it. Done. I don't know. I probably won't put it on the Discord. Everyone's here. All the important people are here. All right. Put a big old pause on that. Um, so, like I said, we're going to do a recap of the state of play. And by recap is that we're going to go through the cool trailers. I don't know. We might skip the shit one. Yes, you can. Four years in and you know the deal. <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, it's four years of marriage, by the way. Uh, but we've been together for eight. Ish. It'll be eight in like a couple days. Ah, so to the mainstream. This way. Uh, and I'm going to pull this over. Make it big. All right, now the first trailer, time flies when you're having fun. Uh, the first trailer is something that is very exciting. Yes, this is the one. Uh, so let's just hit the play button and see what we have. Big old PlayStation 5. Third, 24th of March, 2023. Which is, it's actually good. They're literally announcing this game today, but they're giving us a firm release date. Now that could be pushed back, that's not a problem, but at least we got something to work towards. And if you know fonts, you see that R and you hear this music, you're like, I know exactly what this game is. Resident Evil 4. Okay, I may have accidentally skipped. This is the problem. I, I've got all of my sound effect keys bound to my number pad. 
And it also does things to YouTube videos. Ooh. Ooh. Leon! That's oh fuck. And so this is the something else with a BMI of This is something I really wanted to avoid. I hate ads. And this it almost makes me want to fucking pay for YouTube Premium or Platinum or whatever it's called. Because I fucking hate ads. I'm really looking forward to this. Exactly, that's their game. That's where they get you. What's really cool is that they've kept at least the same voice actor for Marcelo. I think his name was Marcelo. You will receive our most sacred body. It begins now. They've changed the voice for Balthasar though. But fuck, that is going to be a very good game. I mean, if you you look at the precedent, you look at the Resident Evil Two, the Resident Evil what that night. Three remake, the pain, even for a second, which are both amazing. They like this they, time. It can be different. They made both of those games better than the originals, in my opinion. Um, and they can only do the same thing with Resident Evil Four. Resident Evil 4 has got the pedigree though. Resident Evil 4 is, is regarded as the best Resident Evil of all time. But I think a lot of people get caught up in nostalgia. State of Play returns, and we've got some great PlayStation updates to share with you today. And thanks to Capcom for kicking it off with Resident Evil 4, coming to oh. PS5. Also, for those of you who don't know, so the reason that they're having these kinds of events, so this is what's called the PlayStation State of Play. They do like two or three of these a year. The reason that this one is located around about now is because now, June, usually, in America, there is a massive conference called E3. I think it's um, Electronics and Entertainment Expo. They call it E3. So that's the big video gaming conference every single year. Um, and they're not having it this year. Like they didn't have it last year because of COVID. Um, and so each of the, each of the, like the console companies, as well as even individual producers are putting out their own mini conferences, mini presentations, whatever you want to call them, um, to show off all the new stuff that's coming to their consoles or uh, to their uh, games coming out soon. And so this is PlayStation's. Five with PlayStation VR2 content also in development. Now let's get a sneak peek at four games in development for PlayStation VR2. And this is interesting that they're actually, they're putting a lot of focus onto now, mainline titles for the VR, which didn't happen now, on the well, original. Ethan Winters, you escaped my little brother. You can see the little head shake. <laughs> let's see how special you are. Yes, mother, yes, mother. That would be... <laughs> That'd be kind of cool to play Resident Evil 8 first person. It's Spirolysis, if you're watching this... Spirolysis is a massive fan of Resident Evil 7 VR. And so he'd be stoked to hear that this is coming out. Oh man. The dual wheel pistols. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it looks great. You would never catch me playing that though. <laughs> 
because like when you get when you get the goggles on it makes it too real you of all people have the audacity to question me you who emerged from the putrid waters of the bayou to plunder our righteous gains and cut our throats like a demon in the night. Is this another Walking Dead game? What have you done to ensure the future of this forsaken city? Is this Saints and Sinners? You, who have brought nothing but chaos. I get a Walking Dead Saints and Sinners vibe. When death was swallowing this city whole, it was I who resurrected it. It was I who shined as a beacon of hope for all. The tower cries out for blood, and I vow to spill it. When the bells ring, the song they sing will be righteous. Oh no. Oh, Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners, Chapter 2. Called it. Nice. The first one had a lot of, um, got a lot of good press. Apparently it was a really good game. I never played it though. You see now, if this is, if, if this is looking, oh, it's No Man's Sky. Right, okay, cool. I was gonna say, if this isn't No Man's Sky or uh, Elite Dangerous, then it's not really gonna be able to compete with either of these games, but it's No Man's Sky. From where that game started, like upon initial release, to where it is now, it's come a long way. The question is, is that should you have to wait three to five years for a game to become good? In my opinion, no, you shouldn't. There. In a moment, Todd's mom. And fucking ads. Yeah. Minimize so you don't get to see any of it. But yeah, so... Don't get me wrong, I like that. I'm, I'm glad that No Man's Sky became the game that it set out to be when it was first released, but you shouldn't have to wait that long for, for that to happen. Where are you taking me? Oh. I asked you a question. Everyone says Reyes is a good shot. Yeah, and he'll put arrows through both of us. Horizon? You're switching with me. It's a snap mob. We're not gonna make it. Hmm. Blameless Murad had me released from prison. But why? Redemption is still possible, Reyes. Climb the mountain. Find out why the machines are attacking. Hmm. It definitely looks good. Do that, and you shall be a free man. It will take all your wits, your skills, and courage. You have walked in the shadows, Reyes. Now it is time. Ball of the Mountain. So it's a completely it separate life. title. Wow. Hi, I'm Ben McCaw, narrative director at Gorilla. I hope you enjoyed your first look at Horizon Call of the Mountain, coming exclusively to PlayStation VR 2. We're also happy to announce that a big update to Horizon Forbidden West, including New Game Plus, will be available to download on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 today. Huh.
ultra hard difficulty. Something no one asked for. Game's hard enough as it is. That's cool. I like those little announcements. For details on this free update, please check out PlayStation Blog. From all of us at Gorilla, thank you for your continued support, and please stay tuned for more updates to come. Gorilla's always made good games. Get ready. A PlayStation fan favorite is coming to PC. PlayStation fan favorite. These past few years... Oh, Spider-Man. Asking for nothing. If you want to change the world, you have to be the kind of man who can make the hardest decisions. Do you really need two of those? You are everything that's wrong with this city. This is a great game. Do your thing. You can't just push people around like that. Just ask for help next time. Time to bring back the glory days. Did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh... Yes. Yes, I did. Ooh, here's one that Blue is really looking forward to. And I'm really looking forward to as well. Um, it's a game called Stray. And you play as a kitty cat. But the world has, like all humans are dead. It's now taken over by robots. Or robots are sort of the new life form. I'm still not entirely sure as to what the actual, not the goal, but like why, what the cat is doing. Like what's the ultimate, like the mission? Are we going out to save the world or what? Or are we just running around being a cat? Because that's okay too. But the game itself is just gorgeous. And it looks like they've spent a lot of time... Like... W not working out, but like a lot of time on how the cat moves um you know what a cat's movement looks like how it jumps nineteenth of July so it's not too far away that might be one we stream I don't know we'll see explore a mysterious cyber city in stray coming to ps5 and ps4 July 19th PlayStation Plus extra members and higher can download Stray hmm. at no extra cost when it launches next month. So that's actually an interesting point. So they're releasing this game on the 19th of July. That'll also be when the new subscription services for the PlayStation have become available. PlayStation Plus Premium and Deluxe. So it's PlayStation's attempt to, to make, well, sort of compete with Xbox's Game Pass. Um, and there's the three tiers. So the premium is sort of like you're standing, you get access to a whole bunch of PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 titles. And deluxe, you get access to old PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation 1 games. Um, but I read an interesting article recently about when you launch a, a new game, usually by an indie studio, and then make it free as part of the PlayStation Plus um, offering so this happened with abe's the new uh abe's odyssey game abe soulstorm uh, or odd world soulstorm um and because they they gave the studio a lump sum payment to allow them to do that to put it on their playstation plus um service the actual total sales of the video game fell well short of what they predicted um, and they actually lost money on the game. Um, and not that that would put Oddworld Studios in a bad position. They already make a lot of money. But for someone like this, uh, I think it's B12 who make um, Stray. Hopefully, uh, it doesn't have a similar effect because I don't think the B12 has made any other games, at least that I know of. Next, three games that will get your heart racing. 
But it'll be interesting to see. Ah. Honey. You know what that means? More ads. Fuck yes. Love me some ads. Um. Three games that are going to get my, my heart rate. See? Ah, I know what this is. So, for those of you who don't know, um, this is a game called Callisto Protocol. And if you've been watching my other stream, which is the Dead Space stream, you will be a you'll be very acquainted with the work of the owner of this studio because Callisto Protocol is made by the guy that made Dead Space before EA took it over and and ran with it. So this is his personal studio, um, Take a look and he's making his own game now. Did you know that they call Callisto the Dead Moon? Dead, just like you would have been if I hadn't fished you out of that. So whatever you're holding on to right there, that's your old life. You gotta let that go. Because your new life is entirely in my hands. I'm just trying to give you a chance at rebirth. Mm. Very similar themes. And you can see that enemies, enemies are similar. I would probably put it as a, I just love that last part. It's a pretty effective middle ground between dead space and the last of us. Gives me chills every time. And I like it. I like the look. I, I do I do worry that they've made it too similar to Dead Space in terms of sort of like the aesthetic and the themes, you know, like him talking about rebirth and stuff like that, which is a very, a very common theme in Dead Space. Um in the year 2030. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see how how that goes. A new blood sport grips the globe. Now see, Private Division usually make good stuff, but I've seen bits and pieces of this, and it's a bit weird for me. <laughs> so I think Tony Hawk's Pro Skater meets, I don't know, Apex? I do like the art style though. Very interesting. The world is watching. I get the feeling that it's going to be very momentum based. So like, you're not going to be able to get those. Um, I like the juxtaposition of nightmare space horror with roller derby with guns. I know, right? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. I know what this is as well. Um, Kitty Arcade, thank you very much for being here and, and joining us. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Um, yeah, like it's a, it's an interesting concept, but I think it's going to be heavily based on momentum. So like you won't be able to get the slow-mo unless you get a certain, like uh, string together a certain combo or, or whatever. But anyway, it, it, it seems like a very superficial concept like I, I can't see how you would make a a fleshed out game like that but this is an interesting title i have to say
I sort of think Persona meets Devil May Cry. The world hasn't ended yet. It's not hopeless. I won't let anyone else get hurt! Don't you want science in your corner? A lot of cool combat. I'm going to miss them. But it's also a dating sim. I don't get it. Doesn't seem like a ridiculously solid concept to me, again. Eternites. It's weird. Not made by any studios that I recognize either, so it's a bit of a strange one. Action games and dating sims collide in Eternites, coming to PS5 and PS4 next year. Let's check back in with Capcom for a new look at an upcoming heavy hitter. Ooh. Capcom and heavy hitter. What do you think it's going to be, Twitch chat? <laughs> <laughs> Capcom make three games. One of them has hitting in them. <laughs> when you go looking for strength, it's not like a game. This journey except this is a, a game. In legislation, I Fuck, I am so sick of ads. So. Um, uh, ethical super. And you IP road punching. Okay, then, hope you're ready to begin. You want to start off on the right foot in this city? Hit the streets. Yeah, hey, there I do this. Never fear losing. And when I get up in the game, you're up here improving. A real problem, but I solve them on Facebook. And if you think I'm going forward, then you told me fool. Yeah, you want to win, let me spin, boy. I like the visuals. Oh, hello, okay. Is it going to be like a proper run around story mode? That's cool. Street Fighter with RPG mechanics? I'm I'm down for that. I'd fuck with that. Since when does Ryu wear shoes? Bunk. Oh. A Street Fighter character that uses drunken fists. Okay, I'm on board. I'm on board. Let me have some fun. Ready? Then show me. This will be a good fight. Hadouken! I'm not gonna lie to a chat. I like the I like the spattered paint uh visual. Yeah, okay. Now nah, we'll be playing that. We're gonna be playing some Street Fighter Six for sure. I love Street Fighter. Street Fighter is my favorite fighting game over any other. Um, and I'm quite interested to check out this, you know, like RPG style running around, um, make your own fighter destiny kind of thing. I think that looks really cool. Too bad it's coming out in 2023. Fuck! That was 
was your first look at Street Fighter VI gameplay. Mark your calendars. It comes to PS5 and PS4 in 2023. Where, where do I mark my calendar? Now it's time for two indie adventures arriving later this year. Oh, Tunic. Tunic's has already come out on the Xbox. And on PC. It's cute, but apparently it's ridiculously hard. I don't know. It's very Dark Souls. It also doesn't have any instructions or in-game text. It's all, um, the game's eternal language. You know, like it doesn't use English at all. You sort of have to like figure out what you're doing. September 27th, cool. Nice. This game looks interesting. I've seen trailers for this already. She set out to it's very beautiful life at the end of this season to make it real for people in the future. She asked us about living together. And we asked her about traveling alone. When the season turns, what will remain? Only what she saw, what she captured. She carries the sounds of the season with her. Sort of thing like Pokemon Snap, but with actual, I don't know, instead of Pokemon, you're taking photos of beautiful scenery and stuff. The way she listened made you want to tell her everything. I got to look in her journal. The world was telling her its secrets. I think she even figured out what will happen to us when the season ends. Is it going? Is it gone? Not yet. Hmm. Just a game about experiencing beautiful scenery, which I think is a, is a great idea. And I think there is there is a, a massive place for games like that, especially now that we are uh, uh, where me mental health has become such a such a huge focus point ever since the start of the pandemic. Games like that, which sort of just take you out of reality for just a second, just to just to experience some calm and peace and quiet, um, I think are so important. And indie indie. Game developers like that are smashing it out of the park. This is what we've been waiting for! I can't believe he's saying Final Fantasy 16. What does he say? Final Fantasy Jurokich? Final Fantasy Jurokich? え、僕ら。Waiting for this game for a very long time. And it looks very good. The... Who are we? What are the dominance? The power we wield, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us. It unmakes us. That its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The icon. This powerful $139... I don't care. But, it's speaking about the... Trail. We saw Bahamut, Shiva, Ifrit, Titan. Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. 
The combat's very active. Sort of capitalizing on the success of Final Fantasy XV and its combat system. There seems to be a lot more involved in terms of, um, you know, more, more Devil May Cry, less uh, Final Fantasy. Shiva, Titan, Bahamut, Odin, Phoenix, more Titan, Ifrit, oh Ramu, Garuda, they got everyone. There will be losses. It is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. Cool. Awaken, child of fate. Awaken, if breathed. So that's cool. Like it gives it gives you an indication about sort of like the behinds of the story. Story being is that the people. You know what? Actually, that's like a massive ripoff of Attack on Titan. If you've ever seen Attack on Titan, that's pretty much. It's literally that story. Humans becoming giant things to fight each other. And anyway, nice. So that was that was our recap of the state of play. It looks like there's a lot of cool stuff coming out. I'm kind of excited, especially about Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 remake looks fucking stellar. Uh, and obviously, as you can see in front of me, the trailer for Castillo Protocol was also shown. I know, I was just about to say, looks really really good the visuals for castillo protocol uh were very crisp very nice it looks like they've been putting a lot of work into it so i'm kind of excited for that as well um the yeah the high points for me were castillo protocol resident evil 4 and final fantasy 16. i like i like that they are putting a bit of time and effort into playstation vr 2 because I think PlayStation VR definitely didn't get um uh I suppose a good enough it's not a good enough it, it had its fair shape don't get me wrong but in saying that though um they could have had a lot more AAA titles if they had more AAA titles on PlayStation VR I think it would have done a lot better um but yeah, so no, it was a good state of play. 